how was everyone's week? I hope you had a wonderful week. I am really excited for today's episode because we are going to a cafe that has been featured in a recent drama. One of our viewers, Christine Kim, left a comment saying, can you do more cafes slash snacks slash dessert places? Thanks, I'm going to Korea over the summer and am excited for all the food. Well, thank you, Christine, for sending in your comment. And as you can see behind me, we are at Taipom Coffee today. And yes, they have a lot of snacks and desserts and it's a cafe, so it's exactly what you want. And it has been featured in the recent drama Taeyang Ehuye or Descendants of the Sun. Apparently, it has also been on Pyoreso Ungude, producer and running man as well. So let's hurry up on and go on inside. On flight 204, we are visiting a Korean franchise cafe known as Taekom Coffee. It was featured on many different episodes of Taeyang Ehuye or Descendants of the Sun with Song Joong-gi, Song Hye-kyo, jin and Kim Ji-won. This particular branch was on the first episode of the drama and it was the one in Jeongja-dong right by Jeongja Station in Bundang, Gyeonggi Province. All right, guys, so this little sign says, 여기가 바로 태양의 후예, 송국 커플 자리 집 말입니다. 자리 집 말입니다. <laughs> it's so hard to get that army language down. Um, so I'm sitting right at the Song Joong-gi spot, and across from me, there was Jinggu, and next to them, there were two stuffed animals as their dates. And again, this was the first episode of the drama, and this was the scene right after they caught the motorcycle stealer. Now, the Taekum coffee in the second episode of Taeyang e Huye was actually filmed in Songdo, Incheon. Now, if you remember on flight 201, we actually already went to Incheon, so on flight 204, we wanted to come to Bundang, because we've actually never come to Bundang before on gate 82 so welcome to Pundan. now today i am going to try a few different drinks so you guys can see what the dessert culture is like here in korea and you can also cool yourselves down this spring all right guys this is the first drink that we're going to drink today and this is called the honey mong and it is taekum coffee signature drink uh, actually this is more like a grapefruit juice a honey juice and Wow, the color is just so beautiful. This is exactly what Song joong -gi and Jinggu were drinking on the first episode. Now, if you look at the images of the drama, Jinggu actually finished. Jinggu actually finished his drink till the bottom, but then uh, Song joong -gi in front of him, this was right in front of him. All right, guys, so it comes with this little fork like this, and I want to show you guys. This is, again, the honey mong. So that means honey has a big part to do with the drink. Uh, it is drizzled with honey right on the top. And with the fork, you kind of just pick at the grapefruit. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen this before. And you know, whenever I go to cafes, I love um, drinking like grapefruit aid or like grapefruit juice because usually when Koreans go to cafes, they go after a meal like lunch or dinner. And you're already full. So and at, like when it comes to dinner, you don't want to drink cat caffeine at night because that's gonna just keep you up all night but then I like drinking light fresh drinks like grapefruit juice and you know I've been to other cafes before and those cafes they give you like like a little piece of grapefruit and then they tell you that it's a grapefruit aid but here they give you so much grapefruit and look at this pink color it's just so gorgeous they give you almost like half a grapefruit well first I want to try the grapefruit look at this drizzled honey right here mm. Mmm, I love, I love grapefruit. I don't know about you. Some people don't like it, but I love it. And plus, it's full of vitamin C. Good for your immune system, too. It's healthy and refreshing. All right, guys, so next I want to move on to this cube series at Taekwon Coffee. This is the berry cube, and this is just the regular cube. Now, this is such a cute idea because what they did was basically they froze an espresso into this little ice cube. Isn't that so cute? This is an espresso shot. Hence, it's in an espresso glass. And I just want to show you this separately, which is why you don't really get this separately. You get this, okay? <laughs> and it melted a lot right now, but... These are uh, little bits of ice cubes, which are the espresso shots. And this is steamed milk. So what you do is you put, um, it's like a latte, but it's like a fun way to drink a latte because as 
the cubes melt and mix in with the um, steamed milk, it becomes a iced latte. Ah, that is super cool, super cool, okay? So this you drink with a thinner straw, and you just kind of mix it, you see that? And as you mix it, it gets darker and darker, obviously, because the shots are actually um, mixing in with the milk. So when I first got it, it was pure white milk, and now it's getting darker and darker as it goes, as we go. Mm, this is fun. But then I feel like I'm gonna have like so much caffeine in my system because I like put so many ice cubes in here, <laughs> espresso cubes inside here. See those little chunks of espresso? This is probably... Ooh! It's sweetened. It's sweetened too, so it tastes like... Mm. It tastes like a sweetened latte. <laughs> Super good. Um, just for fun, I kind of wanted to boost my caffeine right now and have this cube by itself. I think I'm gonna have like a sugar high, no, what, what is it, caffeine high. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to the berry cube. This is the same thing as the cube, except it's strawberry version. So now as you see, you see little pieces of strawberry, but instead of steamed milk, because you don't want steamed milk with fresh fruit, right? They have cold milk. They have regular milk in right here. And then these are chunks of frozen strawberries, yum. Same thing, you have to mix it. So the cube, which is technically what the frozen part of it is, mixes in with the milk. So now you get a strawberry latte. Mm. They use honey again, they drizzled honey on the top. Now as I enjoy the berry cube, I do want to talk about the Korean language and the drama. Um, the soldiers talk kind of funny, right? <laughs> Some of you might be like, hey, are they speaking Korean? Are they speaking in a dialect? Is this Hatturi? But no, it's actually army lingo. This is how they speak. They like, they go, Mida, uh, Marim Nida, or Kresnika. Like they have a certain way they talk. It is correct Korean, it is correct Korean. So it's not like it's something different. It is Korean, okay? Uh, for example, Chingu, uh, when he talked to Song Joong Ki, when he picked up the phone call, he was like, "부댐니까? Uh, 받지 말지 말입니다." Like he's saying that stuff. But when we speak in Korean, when we say "부대 부댐니까," we don't say that. We say "부대야." Like, are you getting a call from the "부대"? Or in, when you do it with respect, you say "부대요." Ah. 받지 말지 말입니다, right? 받지 말지 말입니다. It's so hard to say. It's so hard to say. But you just would be like, 그냥 받지 마. Like that would you would tell your friend when you're speaking um, friendly to someone, you'd be like, 받지 마. Or when you speak to an elder, you'd be like, 받지 마세요 or 받지 마요. Like you know, you would kind of just be really casual. But then when it comes to soldier army lingo, that's how they speak. Okay, enough Korean for today. Enough of your Korean soldier lesson, <laughs> soldier Korean lessons today. Um, let's move on to our next drink. All right guys, last but not least, I wanna go over this Rapa Rapa series. This is the Parfait Rapa Rapa, and this is the Berry Bay Rapa Rapa. Parfait, as you can see, is just a parfait. We start off with the chocolate ice cream, then we have some yogurt crease, then we have some kiwi and bananas, then we have more yogurt, more granola, strawberries, and more yogurt on top. So this is your parfait. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And this, on the other hand, is a strawberry and berry in general, because there's lemon in here as well. A, it's kind of, it has um, that celery look to it, right? Mmm, yum, yum, yum. So the Rapa Rapa series is actually their new spring menu. So many of you may have not seen this in the past. This is very, very new, but apparently it's doing very well because the visual is so pretty and it's very popular on Instagram. If you hashtag Talcom, you will most likely see the Rapa Rapa series. Let's start off with the parfait. You're gonna eat this with a fork or a spoon. And I love yogurt, granola, and fruit soap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm ruining the tower, but it's so good. 
Oh my god. Hey, no, I'm so sorry. No, I want you to eat this, but it's so good. Oh god. Mmm. Mmm. This cereal, this granola is so good. I haven't had that much good granola and cereal in Korea, but oh my god, it's so good. Ah, it's so good. Mm. My question is, how am I gonna get to the bottom? <laughs> how am I gonna get to that chocolate ice cream in the bottom? I got to the chocolate, yay! Got to the bottom of the chocolate, yay! Mm. While well, it looks like I didn't eat, if you flip it over, I ate it. <laughs> okay, I also wanna try this aid right now. Again, this is like sparkling water with Fruits. Mmm, I'm eating a lot of fruits today. <laughs> Such healthy desserts here, right? <laughs> it's all fresh fruits. It's all fresh fruits. Yummy yum. So again, um, it might be a good idea to mix it a little bit at the bottom because all the fruit is at the bottom, and you want it. You want to get to the bottom of it. And they give you a thick straw like this on purpose, so you can clearly drink the chunks of the fruit with the sparkling water. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so this is much less sweet. So if you don't like sweet stuff and you just really like like seltzer water with like a, like if, you, if you're a big fan of lemonade, this might be for you. It's really um, light, light and fresh. And I kind of, I'm, I'm the person that doesn't like something too sweet or too salty or too sugary. I'm not like that. So I kind of like things that are kind of neutral, like teas and juices and stuff like that. So this would actually be perfect for me. Mm. You know guys, usually when I go to Gate 82 filmings, I usually eat a lot, but today I feel like I drink a lot. We had everything from ice cream, parfaits, Aid, coffee, strawberry milk, everything. We've had everything today, so I feel like I drank a lot today. Uh, I don't know about you, but I really love this drama, Taeyang e Huye. I think it is so well done, so well made. Song Hye Kyo and Song Joong Ki, they're so pretty and good looking. I don't know how someone can look like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so give us a thumbs up and be sure to check out flights 101, 102, 103 as well. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Having problems with the straws. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. <laughs> 언제 빨리 좀 하면 안 돼? 아 지금 돌리고 있어. <laughs> I feel energized. <laughs> 이렇게 다 먹었어. <laughs>